Uh, Representative Kempfield, you're recognized on House Bill 821, item 28. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. What this bill does is really just say our schools are going to remain neutral on the issue of homosexuality up until the eighth grade. We're not going to take a position in favor of it. We're not going to take a position against it. I have several situations, and I've handed out to you several examples of uh, things that our school and, and schools in Tennessee are actually doing to advocate for a position instead of just tolerance, acceptance, which is a huge difference. Uh, I have the list of, if you look at the packet, I, I believe you've all been handed out. I have the definition of tolerance versus acceptance, some resolutions put forward by the TEA slash NEA uh, in some of in their last conventions and reaffirm. Uh, originally put forward in 2006, reaffirmed in, I believe, in every convention since then. Uh, if you're looking for a specific numbers, um, there are several different sections. Uh, you can look at sections B8, B10, uh, I believe B, B, I believe it's 46, talking about how they should be pushing for the acceptance, not just tolerance, but the acceptance of certain lifestyles, which some people would find objectionable. And there are several other sections in there that are advocated by the TEA, NEA. Also, I have in there a copy of the Yes to Kids conference that the Tennessee Department of Education sponsored. Uh, one of their members in the conference, one of the workshops, was uh, a workshop by PFLAG, which is Parents and Friends of Lesbians and Gays, talking about how they need to advocate and teach this sort of thing uh, in grades K through 12. And if you can look, there's a one the book that or one of the things that was handed out by them. It's called From Our House to the Schoolhouse. Uh, also have articles. Uh, from the city paper talking about teacher training on homosexuality issues. I have copies of emails from teachers uh, saying we're already teaching this. I have one from a K through two teacher who is not in favor of the bill, but admitted that we're already teaching these sort of issues in the classroom. I also have from the city paper another person, another teacher who is advocating and pushing uh, the gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender lifestyle. Have another article from the Knoxville News Sentinel about Project Brain Pop, uh, which is a computer access through the schools uh, that schools more or less allow their students onto that talks about uh, some very sexual things. And one, uh, this case came about where. Uh, a parent found his second grade teacher uh, looking at it, and it was said uh, contained information about AIDS, gay and lesbian sex, various religions, including Wicca, which is a nature-based religion that's been linked to witchcraft. Uh, it's Project Brain Pop. Actually, Knox County also uh, just opened up its internet web pages to um, graphic, what I would consider graphic. Um, homosexual web pages. They had a filter on before and they have removed the filter. Um, those are just some examples of why I say, and like I said, I'm not saying we should advocate for or against. I think I believe in neutrality and we should stay out of it. I think it's an issue that's best handled by the families. Uh, the family should decide when it's age appropriate for the children. Some children may be able to handle those issues at younger ages, some not. Some families may be in favor of it. Some families may be opposed to it. What not my legislation says is we're going to leave those issues to the families to decide when it's age appropriate up until the eighth grade. At least until the eighth grade, we're going to leave the issue alone. And that's what my legislation would do. Okay, you've heard the explanation of House Bill 821. Do we have a motion? And a second. Um, we have discussion. We have a request, uh, I believe, from for representing recess and and ask uh, uh, Jerry Winters to come to the mic, please. Identify yourself. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members. Um, I'm Jerry Winters with the Tennessee Education Association. I have not seen all materials 
that Representative Campfield alluded to, but quite frankly, the references to TEA and NEA, if it's in any way that we're promoting the teaching of homosexuality, I'm very, very offended by that. We are not. We do not. I do not think, and I'd have to see some proof that the schools of this state in any way are advocating homosexual behavior. I don't, I cannot imagine that that is happening. I cannot, I'll have to also see that the Knox County Schools have opened up their computers to pornographic materials or something that advocates uh, homosexual behavior. Let me tell you what we do stand for, and I make no apologies for this whatsoever. We do stand for not bullying students because they may be different in any way. And there have been a lot of examples all over this country where students have been physically attacked because someone perceives that they're different, maybe even in a, in a sexual orientation way. I don't know. But I will say to you emphatically that we are not in any way teaching homosexual behavior in the public schools. We would not support that. If anybody is, they would be, I'm quite sure, told to stop it immediately. If they did not stop it immediately, I think they would be fired under the current law for insubordination for not doing what they're told. But to say that we're promoting homosexual behavior is not true, but I do stand by the fact that we do believe that students should not be abused or bullied for any reason any reason, some of which may be strictly perceived on the part of other people because they may look or act differently. So with that said, Mr. Chairman, I just think this is trying to solve a problem that absolutely does not exist. Thank you, sir. Any questions of Mr. Winters while, he, while we're in recess? If I could, I have the actual uh, quoting of, the, just, of their just, resolution. Just a second, uh, Representative Campfield. I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you while we're in recess.